I go into prisons and say like, you know, I've been here and this fucking sucks and I don't care how cool you are. You know, I was here and I was suffering and I, and, you know, I know you're suffering. And I found these practices that help me a lot. And if you want to, help yourself. Try them. How many restless days and nights will pass? Most of the time we're wearing our mask, pretending like I'm not suffering. And we're chasing after pleasure and we're running away from pain and creating more suffering for ourselves. In those two years, kind of 16 to 17, 18, you know, I accumulated three felony uh, arrests. If you come up in punk society, there's a lot of focus sometimes on intoxication and partying and being angry and violent. And so to maintain punk status and to follow Buddhist practice, you're kind of rebelling against that too. So it kind of puts you in a whole new realm of doing your own revolutionary thing. When I started meditating and praying, I felt really embarrassed. You know, like it really touched a place of sort of shame uh, in me. You know, kind of like, oh man, I'm really selling out. You know, like I'm joining the hippies. The way he words things, I understand it. He's not like, big stick up his butt, I'm the cool meditation guy, you know? He doesn't have that attitude, he's real. The Buddha says, question me, question your teachers, question all of them. For a moment reflecting on what it is that has brought you here, here to an interest in spiritual practice and perhaps the integration of some sort of involvement or interest within some sort of counterculture ethic. You have a personality, it comes through, it's conditioned, it's completely part of you. It's not your true identity. Act justly, love tenderly, walk humbly. Can you do that? Oh, my God.